Seinfeld with fucking Mike Piazza. He's just on the beach and he's just got a baseball bat and he's, sw he's just swinging like this right. and he's just wearing his outfit and someone's like, hey, aren't you Mike Piazza? And he's like, yeah, I am. All right. Uh, That's how I know who it is. So right, right before we started, I said something to Jaren, and he looked at me like I was stupid. So I just wanted to. That's rude. I know oh, someone who has a signed stupid. football from Babe Ruth. Is that wrong or? Yeah, that's yeah, very, that's yeah, that's wrong. yeah, that's very that's wrong. wrong. Okay, I got super confused. Do you want us to tell you, or are you yeah, being no, serious? I'm just I'm dead serious. Player. He's yeah. a one of the most famous baseball players of all time. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, you were joking? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're backpedaling. I don't know. I don't yeah. believe this. <laughs> no, I know Babe Ruth is a baseball player, please. You really? I, I know. I, no, forget I, know that, like, I know. That's why it's so believable. No, no, no. Has happened. Man, but, again, like, remember, this is, this is the thing I can say. <laughs> no. This is the thing I can say where Joe didn't have. God, like, again, I didn't watch sports. I didn't, like, follow at all. But, like, you could not avoid that in a film. Like, so, just at someone being like, all right, we're signing to Babe Ruth. Yeah. Now it's like, the fucking fuck? uh, 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 Sandlot. Sandlot. The whole I, plot I'm, of the Sandlot I'm just is a signed like, to Babe Ruth like, baseball. I don't know. That's the only reason I know any of that shit. Yeah. Like, I mean, any you know, of that. I don't know if you guys have ever seen The Last Man on Earth. Yeah. yeah I mean, the show. Shit. That's what he had. You know, that's what he got. He had in his home. The signed baseball bat. He sure. had a lot of stuff in his He had a lot of shit. Show. Yeah. He had a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, I, the thing is, working here is so funny for me, it's because, like, I was never a sports guy growing up, I didn't give a shit, I cheered for the Dodgers because I'm brown and from Los Angeles, like, that's it, that's the mm. only thing I cared about. Is that you just, like, checking a box at that point? Yeah, okay. you have to. Okay. You just, it gets built into you. It's kind of like, kind of like, it's yeah. kind of like Yao Ming and Jeremy Lin with the Asian people. Yeah, exactly. It? It's yeah. the same shit. You yeah. just, you, you get, you get, you're like, you're, somebody along your way in your childhood is like, you gotta support it, and you're like, okay. okay. Living in Dallas, yeah. same thing with the with the Cowboys, the whole family. It's like Hell Cowboys, yeah. even though they suck ass. So yeah. it's like, you know. <laughs> but like, I was never into sports. I come here, and I like you guys are so nerdy that I am suddenly a sports guy in comparison to y'all. Like I, yeah. I, I was talking about, I have a baseball song by Carlos Beltran, Carlos Delgado, Mike Piazza from the Mets mm -hmm. that I stole from my stepdad, who was mm -hmm. a big fan of the Mets. I don't give a fuck about it. I've used it for batting practice. That's before. cool. You've used this baseball card for batting practice? It's a baseball. Oh, I was very confused. Yeah. No, it was just that's a kinda, regular baseball. kind of fucked. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> that guy sucked. Yeah. Oh, that guy that's, was that's awful. Fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. That guy would uh, Now, did constantly... you use it because of that, or you just had it? Uh, I used it because of it. Nice. I, mean, I have oh, other yeah. baseballs too. Yeah, I don't know. I you don't like... want. To, you don't want to get your clean one dirty. No, 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 no. Sometimes I'll go out with uh, Eric and and the boys and hit a couple dingers. Eric's a big sports guy. He's a he's, he's much, a big baseball. Guy. Yeah, he he's really a baseball. Likes. If you had to pin him down, he's a baseball and coffee guy. <laughs> he fucking loves coffee. Hmm. He loves making it himself. Ask him about it. He'll go on. That's like Omar. Omar is a big uh, Omar from Fun. Does he like grind his own coffee beans and yeah, yeah, he'll get all, like all, a, all the little like. I mean, just, just I mean, I will say like that's not. Really, that's yeah, that's like, not. That's bare minimum. Like he no, grinds I, his own beans. No, I know. I'm just saying machine. like he just you know he just is a little. Thing, no, he you gets like, yeah. He's thing, he gets a real you know if he's into it he'll make a thing or whatever. But it's also just like coffee though. He doesn't do tea or he just he doesn't do like the like coffee drinks. You know, he's like, I like it black. He'll put shit in it, but his thing is like, he 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 drank black coffee for years and years and years, so he could always have coffee whenever he wants, even if there's nothing else. Mm -hmm. So his standard is black coffee, which mm -hmm. is insane to me. But he's just like, you know, but if you, you know, if you're on set or whatever, whatever, and you don't have it, you just have coffee. Now I can drink it. That's it's good. like okay. I like so black he has a real like flavor for actual coffee. Like I'm sure I've never tasted coffee in my life. Really. Right? Whatever. It's good. I mean, no, but I good, mean, like, good. to actually like know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, he'll sure. talk about the the notes and shit. Oh in it. yeah, like, it's like a sommelier. Oh, oh, it's got that. a real fruity no. note. Yeah, right. That's dumb. that's him with coffee. There's, but I to your point of like, oh, does he grind it himself? That it really isn't the barrier for entry. Like Omar no, no, at Funhouse, he had like a, a thing that made the the water to boil at a specific mm -hmm. temperature. Uh -huh. Like a, basically like a sous vide, yeah. so that he and they usually make like one cup at a time. Well, yeah, because yeah. you steep certain coffee beans steep, at certain temperatures. That's a word I yeah. don't have it in my vocabulary. Don't do it. I don't steep. My, I don't my, steep. My things. sister's the same way. She's a fucking big coffee head. So. I only know that like through like teas that's and stuff too. like that. Because I, I used to like Eat do like coffee. teas or whatever, but like through coffee. Like mm -hmm. I feel like that's just a whole nother like 
like wide barrier of entry. It's got to be. Into, like, those, I mean, it's got to like, be like a hop. You got to yeah, enjoy sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so much work. For don't get me wrong. Like I'm sure the return is there, but for me, no, it's not. Like not for the effort put in. Yeah. I'm gonna do all this. And it's like yeah, it's coffee. Also, I'll just drink something from Starbucks. There's also yeah. like so a level for of me. like diminishing return where I go. I don't think this is like. Gonna right. make that. I don't have like a very precise palate. I'm not a picky person. Correct. So right. like, uh, like it's wasted on you. Yeah. It's, yeah, like, it's yeah. like getting like ultra expensive like meats or some shit. Sure. When yeah. it, or whatever. You're out of place where it's like this is so whatever whatever. This tiny little shred is X amount. You mm. know, for two ounces. It's oh like, yeah. I, like the wagyu steak can be like a hundred dollars for a fucking little cube. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For Costco. I've realized that I don't Smart. have as refined a palate as I thought. <laughs> Real I did. Japanese yeah. A5 wagyu. Yeah. I used to think like I used to be a cook. I used, well, I called myself a chef, but uh, and uh, I, people have said that like I'm pretty good at cooking uh, and like I've eaten. I like eating at like really nice restaurants, but I fucking love Del Taco. I love Whataburger. Like I love garbage shit, and they are they give me the same level of enjoyment. Same. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's just what do you want right now? Yeah, exactly. I have a problem with Whataburger right now. Like, what? I have, What's wrong? Like, with it? like I'm like addicted a, like to you're, it. Oh, you're oh, go get Whataburger after this? So I, I, we moved to Texas. Work. I had Whataburger for the first time. Like, it must have been like a week. Within a week, I moved here. Mm -hmm. um, and I had like the regular burgers. I was like, man, it's okay. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not great. Like, it's all right. And then recently, I tried their avocado. It was when we went to the beach. We had Whataburger. Um, their avocado bacon burger. Mm -hmm. It changed my life. Yeah, good. It's fucking delicious. It's the same it's burger so, though. It's the same burger. Just but saying, it, like you didn't like the burger. Bacon. It's the burger with shit on it. Yeah, it's whatever the I shit like that, that they put on. It's delicious. What a burger's pretty polarized. And I, I realized that their fries are actually really, really good too. Eh, uh, their fries are fine when they're fresh. They're compared, like what? What a burger is a rare one. I feel like they're the closest fry that I can think of to McDonald's. Really? Yes. Yeah. I mean, who else when they're is fresh. closer? I don't. Eat. I'm just. Everyone has different them. styles yeah. of fries, and no one makes the McDonald's fries. Like they don't try. They're like McDonald's got it. We're staying yeah. out of it. Everyone else has different fries. Whataburger's like, hey, we'll fucking make them. They're not as good, but well, we'll do it. The yeah. best fries. <laughs> I mean, we'll do. Fuck, fuck them. Yeah. Best regular fries. I think Wendy's has them now. To be honest. The what? New, the new Wendy's fries. They're pretty good. They're fine. I think they're good. I've tried the new fries. I like them. I think McDonald's is. For consistency across it the like oh, McDonald's, yeah. it's hard to ever oh, top God, as like God. as like consistent. You're talking about if they're fresh fries versus not fresh fries. Well, I'm saying like, I always get like consistently from McDonald's. It's mainly not. I'm just fries. saying, look, the players change. Who's the richest man in the world? Billionaires bounce around. Sure. I don't. I'm never gonna not be like Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter if he's in number two today because he gave away a trillion dollars yesterday or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's McDonald's fries to me. Yeah. I'm not saying they're always the best, but they, if I had to pick one fry forever, it'd be McDonald's. Yeah. I would pick uh, crinkle cut fries from Del Taco because they're my I favorite. Del Taco I don't so think I've long. ever been to a Del Taco. Del I don't think you delicious. guys have them out here, and it breaks my fucking heart every time I remember. I don't think it. I've seen one out here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had a bunch of them in Colorado. They got crinkle cut fries, and they're like specifically when they're done right, they're super crispy on the outside, and then like. Almost like really thin mashed potatoes on the inside. It's fucking delicious. I'm giving the wrong from a taco place. Cause it's a uh, it's Baja California taco place. Mm. So like uh, they serve burritos, they serve chili fries, they serve like they even have burgers and shit. People say the burgers are good. I think they're garbage. The fries are good. The tacos are great. The quesadillas are some of the best. Uh, their burritos. You said quesadilla weird. How did you say that? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Quesadilla? Queso Dio? There you yeah, go. Quesadilla? Quesadilla. Yeah. Queso, Quesodilla? Quesodilla. See, I'm, yeah, I'm a Pokemon. I don't here. got that. I don't got that. Dude. Yeah. Oh, you're one of us? Yeah. I'm, Dude. yeah. Oh, people, shit. Yeah. People, I, and I heard this in New Jersey, people saying Chipotle. And just, I mean, it's just like, that's not even, that's not even an accent. You just can't read. You're saying it Chipotle. wrong. Chipotle. Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle? Chipotle. Yeah. Oh. I heard Chipotle. It's, it's Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. No. Chipotle. I'm like, no, it's Chipotle. You're, you're mixing no, letters around. it's Chipotle. What's that? You don't it's pronounce Chipotle. the L. It's yeah. Chipotle. But you're saying Chipotle. Ch 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 what am I saying? Chip. Oh, fuck. Bro, what did you just say? What did I say? You said Chipotle. Right. It's not Chipotle. Right. It's Chipotle. Right. No, you don't pronounce the L in that word. Right. But, but I'm white and I speak English. Yeah. So I do. That's, just, that's what I was I saying. get my way it through, but he's, he's wrong. I'm also, I'm making all this up. I don't have he's, anything to make. Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle is what I hear. That's Chipotle. horrible to say. That's wild. Yeah. Chipotle is Chipotle. the one that I hear a lot. Yeah. I hear that jokingly. Yeah. I've never heard I've never, go, sorry. Oh, let's go to I just, Chipotle. Just, <clears throat> I had to rack my brain for a second because maybe I was reading it wrong for a second. The same people who say Chipotle are the people who call it Target. 
Oh, and sure. I fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. hate them both equally. You say Tarjay? Yeah, that's fucking right. <laughs> I mean, that's any- fucking right. Well, the juice coming out. The uh, steroids. Oh, it's leaking out. Itself, yeah. <laughs> it's leaking out oh. with, this, with the cigarette oh, smoke. <laughs> Your oil's coming out. I like bringing everything to a standstill, <laughs> making it tense in here. Are you one of those uh, Californians that wholeheartedly believes in and out? Oh, no. Fuck uh, in and out, man. Yeah. I First, agree. Well, the one thing that I feel like, like is super common knowledge in California, but maybe not common knowledge outside of it, is how deeply, uh, like, deeply, deeply religious they are at in and out where like if you go and you get their cup, if you look under it on the ridge, you'll see John 316. Like they have Bible verses no on way. all of their, yeah, really? it's awesome. real. Yeah, yeah, Austin yeah, 316. The in and out guy will come out and fucking give you a stunner. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, she's uh, the lady who runs it's fucking an insane person. Uh, like, I tried to hire my friend's older sister to babysit. It was like, she's a professional nanny. Tried to hire her to be a nanny for her dog because she was like, my dog is like my child and I will settle for nothing but the best. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've come uh, kind of 180 as I'm saying this that I don't think she's insane as much as she is just outlandish. <laughs> just caring, caring for an, an animal. Well, no, caring dogs too can, much. can, yeah. can yeah. fucking shove off. Fuck dogs. Whoa. You fuck, oh. you you fuck, fuck dogs? Own dog That's not what I said. said fuck off. You say you, I said you fuck, fuck dogs? No, I didn't say fuck them. That's He's crazy. crazy. Mm. I said make love. Jaren, what do you think? You be, where do you? I don't know. I'm, I heard a little bit of both. I think yeah. I heard the fuck dog. But he's the one that brought love in it. I was saying I, I make love and dogs. Well, hang on, Tyler. You make love you gotta and let dogs. This breathe. Yeah, I don't. I don't like In and Out very much. I think it's overrated. I think that if you want a smash burger, there's a million better places in California. Like Smash Burger. Yeah, Smash Burger is <laughs> actually yeah. delicious. great. There was one nearby and they closed it. A yeah. Ago. That that was great. I love that Smash Burger. There's like a, but I also think. Uh, Let's go it, get food. In and Out's like Whataburger, where like some people oh, swear by sure. it, but yeah. I also think I like I Whataburger like... a lot because I didn't grow up with it. Oh, Same yeah. people in Texas. So, yeah, see, like that's that. Whataburger and In and Out for me. Yeah. I didn't eat either. Yeah. So everyone's like, "Fuck you!" I go, mm, "I like this," and oh. then they go, "Fuck this," and I go, mm, "This is good too." Yeah. I'm never gonna shit <laughs> I just on don't you like, for I just don't like mayo on my burger. <sighs> Come on now. What? On your burger? Yeah. Yeah, I can get behind that. Why? Mayo's I'll delicious mayo. on burger. Mayo on a chicken sandwich nah. is necessary. But See, mayo, like, I, I, mayo I and like, ketchup on I a like burger mayo, is delicious. But mayo on chicken is standard procedure. Yeah. Mayo on burger is not standard. No. That's, you're, you're reaching. You know what, you're you know what Whataburger no, does that I fucking standard. love is who does mustard. Who does mayo? I don't know. I just no one. always see, like, the condiments and everything on a burger. Right, but like I mean, I'm talking, you order a burger at McDonald's, you get ketchup and mustard. That's it. Oh, yeah, for like a fast food place. I'm just thinking about burgers in general. Oh, yeah. no. I'm You're talking about yeah. fast food burgers. The so owner we gotta of it. Go. We got to go. Owner of it must be here because it's getting real bright. Hey, whoa, whoa, Shit, whoa. Real bright. Well, he was going to have to come over and waft you again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. We're going to go get a Where are we, we going to go? Where, where do you want to go? You want to go? Let's go to Chicago.